everyone, this is me Sadia here and I'm back with another pick a deck reading. This is going to be what is your ex thinking of you reading. Uh, so I will be putting two different, uh, you know, um, cards from two different decks. So this is deck one, this is deck two. Whichever you feel more pulled towards, you can pick that deck for your answers because I will be taking cards on cam. So let's find out if your ex is thinking of you or not. And if he or she is, then what is on their mind? We are going to find all about that. So let's get started before we do that. Let me remind you, it is a general reading. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. So just pick whatever resonates and leave their best. For personal readings, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also follow me on Instagram where I do upload daily readings. You can also check out my sister's channel. I will be leaving the link to her channel in the comment section. If you like it, do become a part of her YouTube family as well. So yeah, let's get started. Um, I'm going to start with deck one. So um, this is deck two for sure. So I'm going to push this deck a little up so we can, you know, uh, shuffle the cards and, you know, uh, pull out the cards for the people who are choosing the first deck. Let's find out what is your ex thinking of you if he or she is thinking of you. So um, while I will be shuffling the cards, I would suggest you to think of that specific X that you have on your mind uh, that you want to know about. So we could tap into their energy for you um, for this time. This is a timeless reading. Whenever you're going to check this reading, um, I hope it will resonate with you, you know, uh, in that particular time and frame. So, um, yeah, let's begin. Let's see what is your X thinking of you uh, right now. And if he or she is thinking of you what is it that they are thinking um let's begin what is your ex thinking of you for the people who chose the first deck let's begin Wow, Ace of Pentacles, Pair of Earth, the Wheel of Fortune. Your ex is thinking of a reunion with you. Your ex is thinking of a... This person, whoever it is, that you thought of, that you uh, had on your mind, asking the question about. I feel like, you know, he or she is... Um, being pushed towards you it's like i don't know what's going on in their life as of now uh but the universe is guiding them towards you and i feel like you know when that's when that happens it's most of the time because the, you both are meant to be together you both are meant to be you know um with each other you both are soulmates and that's that happens when you know um, you know, no matter how many people come between the two of you, no matter how many times you break up with a certain someone who is your soulmate, your souls are destined to come together again. Um, no matter if they have married somebody else, no matter if you have married somebody else, something's going to bring you back together. Something's going to happen that's going to bring you back together to have a stable connection. And that's exactly what your ex is thinking of you right now. Um, the universe is like, you know, it's, it's more of the universe is kind of, you know, pushing this person to think of you, pushing this person to think of how he or she can make, um, you know, amends or make the changes that they need to make to, to move forward towards you, to have a new beginning with you. Something is like, you know, ending, something new is beginning, something is, you know, in their mind right now about you. They really want to start something new with you, leaving the past behind with a wheel of fortune. Like, you know, one cycle, one, you know, um, one specific time frame that you spent with this person has come to an end. Whoever this person is, like, you know, there were certain lessons that they were supposed to learn to be back with you. And I feel like, you know, now they have learned it and now they are, you know, coming back towards you. And I feel like, you know, this person is now, um, you know, like I said, the, the universe is basically pushing this person towards you again. And um, after having learned the lessons that they were supposed to learn before you both could start something new, something beginning, uh, you know, something, uh, something new, something stable. Uh, so I do feel like, you know, this person is coming towards you. Let's take some more cards. Four of Pentacles. I, I feel like, you know, like I said, the universe is pushing this person, but this person is somebody who is very, you know, who is still resisting that messages that the universe is kind of, you know, giving to this person. Um... For some of you, you might have blocked this person or they have blocked you. And I feel like, you know, this person is not letting go of that control. This person is not letting that, you know, um, 
that ego go away. They, they, they are still resisting that the, the push that they are having from the universe. They are still trying to resist that, like, you know, because of their ego, because of the past that you might have had, because of the way they treated you in the past. It's like, you know, there is something which is still stopping them from, you know, uh, going with the flow of uh, which the universe is trying to kind of, you know, push them towards. It's, it's like, you know, this person is still being very stubborn. Um, but that's, that's going to change is what I'm picking up. Yeah. This person is still holding their emotions. I feel like, you know, if you, uh, if you are checking this reading and you, uh, you are being blocked by this person, if, if, if you see this reading and you're going to say like, no, Sadia said that, you know, um, he is, so she is thinking to propose me, but they have still blocked me. That's, that's where this thing is coming from. This person is still resisting what the universe is kind of, you know, telling them to do or move forward to. But eventually this person is going to come forward. Eventually this person is going to unblock you if you are blocked or, you know, if there has been no communication, the communication is going to come through because this is something which is meant to happen. This is something that the universe is pushing them to have a move towards you, towards you because <clears throat> this is something destined to happen. Like I said, your souls are already um, tied together. So let's see what's... Uh, ooh, you do have Nine of Cups underneath the deck. So yeah, I do see you coming back together. Uh, you and this person, you, this person is definitely thinking of having a reunion with you. Um, <clears throat> Hold on. Yeah, uh, so yeah, that's, that's what I feel. I feel like, you know, um, I feel like, you know, this person with the Nine of Cups underneath the deck, uh, let's take one more card underneath that. You do have Four of Swords. Underneath that, you do have Eight of Swords. You do have Queen of Swords underneath that. Underneath that, you do have the World card. So it seems like, you know, um, there is certain block between the two of you. You are not communicating with this person at all. Like, you know, uh, either they have blocked you or you have blocked them for sure. For sure. That is something that that's there between the two of you. And if you are the one um, who is thinking like, you know, uh, since this person has already blocked you and, you know, as of now, they have not uh, unblocked you or as of now, you are blocked on their social media as well. Let it be. Don't think of that. If you really want to have a reconciliation with this person, whoever the sex is, then I would suggest you to stop telling that to yourself again and again stop checking them if they have unblocked you or not because this person is going to do that eventually this is going to happen eventually this is going to happen between the two of you like i said this is something which is this time to happen so nothing in the world can stop this reunion but having said that um stop telling yourself uh you know that he or she is not going to come back because that's that might be something which is stopping you from having what you want with this person with this ex of yours um this person has their own uh you know um this person has this you know their own ego that is stopping them when it comes to you having what you de desire it's your negative self-belief it's your negative belief around this connection which is stopping you from having it so as soon as you let go of your fear as that person i feel like you know that person too is going to let go of what is stopping them to uh, to come towards you as well so yeah that's pretty much it coming up for the people who chose the first deck i hope it was of help and um yeah i wish you all the best if the reading resonates with you do like subscribe and share if you're willing to get a personal reading you can always reach out to me for that on my email id in the description box till i do the next reading for you guys take care bye bye let's move on to the second deck let's find out what is going on with your ex if your ex is thinking of you and if he or she is what is on their mind about you what is on your on their mind about you what is your ex thinking of you right now and what is on their mind what is your ex thinking of you and what is on your mind on what is on their mind <clears throat> let's find out what is your ex thinking of you and what is on their mind about you what do they wish to have with you if they want anything with you or not I would suggest you to think of your specific ex that you want to know about while I'm shuffling the cards. I don't know why I'm picking up like you're thinking of different uh, multiple exes of yours. Just focus on one ex because uh, I feel like you know you are one time you are thinking of this one and the other time you are thinking of the other one. Don't do that. Just keep your focus on one one ex of yours. Don't uh, think of uh, multiple exes.
let's begin page of cups queen of wands three of pentacles ten of cups I mean the deck you do have ten of pentacles the six of yours whoever it is he or she does um Take more cards, five of cups, nine of swords. The six of yours does think of you, but at the same time, every time they have a thought of you, um, this person really wants something stable. This person really wants something uh, long term. This person really wants something that will that will be like a dream come true to them. They, this person is not ready to have anybody come back from their past who is not ready to give them the commitment that they wish off. The, this person is really looking forward to have a long-term committed relationship which is fulfilling not just physically, mentally, but emotionally as well. Um, and uh, financially too. It's like, you know, this person is looking, this ex of yours is really wishing to have that kind of a relationship with you. If you, if this person wants you back in their life, they want you just for one intention or with one intention. This person would love to have you back, but if and only if you are ready to give this person whatever they are thinking of you right now. Um, I feel like, you know, it, it's part of the, it's part of the thought that, you know, um, it's, it's more like, you know, somebody who is uh, willing to have a committed relationship, but when they th think of having a committed relationship, it's it's more of that thought that they have. It, like I said, while, I've sh while I was shuffling, uh, I just mentioned one thing, which was like, maybe you are thinking of different, you know, multiple partners. Like you are thinking of multiple exes of yours. But I feel like after seeing the cards here, it seems like, you know, your person that you asked about, this person really is ready to have a committed relationship. Whether they were in the past, uh, you know, ready or not, but now this person is completely ready to have a stable relationship, which is like a family, you know, which can give them the family vibe, which can give them the, you know, happiness that you seek within the family. I feel like, you know, this person is ready to have a family too. So I, it seems like, you know, this person is, would love to have that with you. But at the same time, this person is open to have anybody coming in their life who could give them the uh, the love that they desire, the connection that they wish to have in their life. Um, this person is trying to manifest somebody in their life. Whoever this person is, this person does think of you. At the same time, this person is open to have somebody new in their life as well. But this person is not at all ready to have an on and off relationship with you. This person is not ready to have anything less than a committed relationship. So if, if they want you back, they want you back only if you are willing to give them what they, what they desire. They are not ready to get disappointed again. They are not ready to have the sleepless nights all over again. They really want a stable love connection, which is, uh, you know, which is so clear, which, which has no confusions, which has no doubt, which has nothing that stops, like, you know, um, that confuses them, whether, whether it's going to work out, whether it's going to, you know, um, this person really wants something very clear, something very clear, like, you know, um, with the Ace of Swords, it's like, you know, this person is so clear that this is what I want. If, if my ex comes back with this intention, they are ready to give you another chance. But if you don't have this intention of having a relationship that is stable, that is like long term, then this person would not take you uh, at all. So I feel like, you know, whoever this person is, this person really um, desire of having a stable relationship. Um, having said that, if you ask this person to reach out to you, I don't think that this person will do that. I don't know why I'm picking up this energy. It's like, you know, this ex does think of you, but at the same time, this person really wants you to be the one to reach out to them. They don't want to reach out to anyone. This person is waiting for the right one for them. If you are the right one, you will reach out to this person. That's what his or her perspective about it right now. So yeah, that's pretty much it coming up for you for this uh, reading. If the reading resonates with you, do like, subscribe, and share if you're willing to get a personal reading. To know more about what is your specific ex thinking of you, you can always reach out to me for that on my email ID in the description box. Till I do the next reading for you guys, take care. Bye-bye.